<laughs> well, if I turn all the lights on, I'd show you guys my cat. Yeah, let's show it for you guys, Abby. Turn this light on. Cutie. She's so cute. And Pippin too. All right, the cats have finally made an appearance, and now let's continue. I guess just I had to show you guys that because she rarely does that. She's all comfy. So let's go find this other place. I can't see with all these leaves. There we go. Oh, look at it. It's like right there. And look at this cheap ass. He's... Isn't there a decency law that applies to just such things? Whatever, man. Bad man. We're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Well, I guess we have to, don't we? Roar. Well, at least... Oh, come on, Antonio. You're, you can do better than that. Uh-oh, restricted area. Oh, no. Can we climb? Yes, we can. Damn, Antonio. Like, calm down. Let me do it first. Hurry up. Get oh he fell down you Ace, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! But you understand what I'm offering you, Signore. Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you? <gasps> I'm sorry, it is Piace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only mm -hmm. looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Stay close. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for me. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. <laughs> Carlo Grimaldi. Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo quickly became a key guest at the tables of Venetian nobility while his reputation for discretion earned him entrance into the back rooms. Here's how the old bastard ended up in the Council of Ten. While visiting the head of the council, Ignacio Contarini, Carlo ran into Ignacio's daughter. Desperate for help and aware of Carlo's trustworthy reputation, she confided in him. Her father had arranged her marriage, but she wanted to run away with the son of one of the servants. They'd been in love since they were children and they planned to start a new life in Milan, where they could be free of her father. Carlo suggested immediate action, an escape by ship that night. The two lovers followed his instructions, and as they climbed the gangplank, they were free. That is, until Ignazio appeared on deck. Carlo was rewarded for his loyalty to the Contarini family. While true love, well, see for yourself. Aw, uh, what a fucker. We have to kill this. We're, we're definitely killing this douche. Profession asshole. Ooh. So I guess we're gonna have to get Leonardo's flying machine. <gasps> Yay! Um... Oh, that's so far away. We. I can't wait to kill that guy. Little, what a little pansy. Must destroy him. 
Oh wait, where was that spot? That had the guards. Yeah, I want in here. I want in there. Excellent. Don't get in my way. No, watch yourself. You, you, you. <laughs> and he can die. <laughs> no, there we go. Yep, Leonardo's building. All in red. Wee. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, let's see what he has to say in the next part. <laughs>